Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Also, hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Be careful down in the comment section. A lot of spam, a lot of scammers. I will never ask you to contact me by WhatsApp or Telegram. I also do not invest money for my subscribers. So please be careful. Don't get yourself scammed. If you want up to 12 free stocks, Weeble is going to give you up to 12 free stocks. When you open a new Weeble brokerage account, put at least one penny in that account. They're going to give you up to 12 free stocks. If you're interested in that offer, guys, I want you to go down to the description box of the video. Click on that Weeble link. Open up your new account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. Guys, I want to talk to you today about Bank of America's Community Affordable Loan Solution. Let me read you a little bit about this particular new program they got. Bank of America announced today a zero down payment, zero closing cost mortgage solution for first time home buyers which will be available in designated markets, including certain black slash African-American and or Hispanic Latino neighborhoods in Charlotte, Dallas, Detroit, Los Angeles, and Miami. This loan program requires no minimum credit score or mortgage insurance, a.k.a. PMI. According to Bank of America, the company will make a down payment for the client in the form of a grant up to $15,000, giving them immediate equity. Now, when I read that and I said to myself, you know, guys, I'm, I'm an old banker, right? I was a banker for 25 years. I said to myself, banks don't do anything for free. They don't do anything without knowing at the end of the day, they're going to make some money. That was my first question. What really is Bank of America's real purpose for doing this? Number two, I said to myself, is it really in the best interest of a new homeowner to be taking on a loan with no money down. Someone buys a $400,000 house, right? Bank of America gives them the $15,000 down payment. Now they're at 385. Next year, market's down by 5%, right? So that means the house is worth 380, you got 385 in it, you're going to be upside down in a house year one. Plus, on top of that, I don't think it really gives people the right financial responsibilities when you give somebody the ability to go into a new home with zero money down, right? Typically, when people don't have any skin in the game, that's typically when times get hard, people will just leave. They just stop making the mortgage. Why? Because they got no money in the deal. So I, I don't know if that, in my opinion, is a good idea. Now on the flip side, people may say, well, you know, there are people in those communities, right? See, see, see that designated areas. What does that mean? So, 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 so if I live in Dallas, can I go to any neighborhood, right? Can I go to any neighborhood and, and, and buy a house? Or do I got to only go to the black and the Latino neighborhoods to buy a house? I don't know. Y'all help me with that. Because it said black slash African-American uh, Latino communities. I mean, uh, areas. I, I, I don't know what that means, right? So that's a little bit odd to me. Why not just say, hey, we're going to do this zero down and you go pick any community you want to live in in Dallas. You go pick any community you want to live in 
in Charlotte or Miami, right? That, that, that's the way I, I see it. So I don't know if I, 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 I'm not sure what's going on here. I, I don't know if Bank of America is, and again, guys, this ain't a, just about Bank of America. This could be any lender. I, I'm just saying Bank of America because they publicly came out with this program. And, and, and so that's why I'm mentioning them. I, I, I'm not saying Bank of America is bad or good. I'm just telling you, I'm not sure why they would be doing this. You know, they, they're here now. Maybe they're trying to, you know, boost up their CRA credits. You know, Community Reinvestment Act, where you have to give back to the communities that bring their deposits into you. There are people of color who uh, bank with Bank of America in in some of these designated areas that that they do put their money in Bank of America's bank. So so the law says, hey. These people put their money in your bank. You got to also do something. Now, now maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's CRA. The reason we got in the mess we got in in 2008 is because of these ninja loans, right? No money down, uh, you know, no minimum credit score, you know, no job. Hey, that's when we got in trouble. Why? Because these people bought these houses at the top of the market, where we're at today, the top of the market. And then all of a sudden, when the market started falling, these people couldn't keep up with the mortgage payments. Guess what? Foreclosures went through the roof. And I'm not saying that'll happen in this situation, but, but, it, but it reminds me of that. So I don't know, man. I, I think, you know, Bank of America has to make money some way in this. And I think probably where they make their money at is they're going to have a, a, a higher interest rate, right? See, a lot of times banks even though they, it appears no money down, all of this stuff, they hide really the premium that they're getting for the deal. They hide it in the interest rate. So, so if the normal market rate is 5%, that deal, you know, the zero down, no PMI, no closing costs, that deal may carry an interest rate of 6.5%. So therefore, they got a one and a half percent premium in each one of these deals that they do. And again, guys, I'm not saying that's that's fact. I'm just giving you what my opinion is since I've worked in the banking industry for 25 years as a commercial lender. And I know how these banks make, are here to make money, guys. They're not here to be a philanthropic. They're not here to be, you know, to save the world. Uh, they're not here to to save every low income family and put every low income family in a home. They're not here for that. They're here to make money. Let's not get it twisted. Especially your, your, your big gigantic banks. Uh, they're here to make money, right? And, and if they're doing this, and I'm not saying it's not a good thing. I'm saying if they're doing it, they have a reason for doing it. And, and I, there is a financial compensation piece to it somewhere. We gotta be careful not to fall in that trap, right? Listen, I want everybody, I think everybody should deserve home ownership if that's what they want. See, home ownership ain't for everybody. Everybody don't want to own their own home. But if you do, great. Problem I have is this designated areas, you know, you know I, I got a little bit of problem with that. Listen, if you're going to do the program, let me buy a house wherever I want to buy a house. Bank of America is a national bank. Why are you, why you designating it to certain areas of a few large cities. Why not let me, if I want to go to Utah, why not let me go to Utah and get me a zero down and go buy me a house there if I want to. So, so that's, the, so, so something's a little, a little off right there for me. I'm just telling you, I'm not saying it's not a good program. I'm just telling you, read the fine print, know what you're getting yourself into. And I just believe we should be having more financial responsibility when it comes to first time home buyers. I know FHA lets you do three and a half percent down, but you still got skin in the game. I know VA lets you do zero down, but guess what? Those are for our veterans who actually went out and paid the price, you know, protecting this country. So, so I ain't got no problem with that. Drop me some comments guys and let me know what you think about Bank of America zero uh, down payment, um, home loan that they're getting ready to roll out to these selected cities. Um, curious to hear your feedback. If you want up to 
12 free stocks. Click on that link down in the description box. Open up that Webull account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing. Share the video. Smash the like button. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.